Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Corner. Uh, another year has come and gone. We're about to wrap this one up. Uh, for some of us, it came very fast. Others, super slow. Seemed like it would never get here. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that this wraps up our very first year of having Canvas as our LMS, our learning management system. And if you built anything inside of Canvas, you want to be sure and save what you've got. So next year, all you have to do is pop it in and it's ready to go for you. Um, in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to save what you've got in Canvas for next year. Um, at the end of every year, when the course concludes, it goes into a read-only mode. And you can't change anything or upload anything in the commons or anything like that. So I'm going to show you a few tips on how to save your stuff for next year. So here we go. All right, so here we go. This is how you get started on saving your courses uh, for for later use uh, next year. So uh, what I do is I go to my I'm going to go to my world history class here, and the easiest, simplest way probably for everyone here is going to be to save this course into Commons. And if you look over here in the global navigation, uh, Commons is right here. It's the fourth icon up, and uh, Commons is where you go to find uh, quizzes. Uh, whole courses, modules on certain topics that are already made for you. Um, but it, you can also use it as a storage device for your courses. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. So if I open up my world history class here, um, all my stuff is here. And on the left hand side in the course navigation, I'm going to go to settings. And then when the settings opens up, I'm going to go on the far right hand corner. Uh, there is a button, a, a link that says Share to Commons. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Share to Commons. And it's going to open up the little form that you have to fill out in order to save to Commons. Now, there are a few choices that you've got here. Um, you can save it as Only Me. And that means when it's in Commons, you're the only one that can pull it back down. Um, a lot of you might like that. If you have something that's really spectacular that maybe you want to share with a colleague at a different school or uh, just share it so everybody else can use it as a as a, a a resource, you can check on um, all of Corpus Christi ISD. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to click on only me because I'm the only one that wants to put my course up into Commons right now. Um, and, and I'm going to leave the license that copyrighted. And then there's some, uh, some data that we can put in. So this is my world history class. The only other things that we're going to add in here um, are my name. So Seth Kaler, World History AP, what school I'm at. I'll just say I'm at Miller High School today. And the grade level that I need. So I'm going to put in that this is the 11th grade. Uh, something like that. Now, uh, I also have to give it a description. So this is my 2018-2019 class um, for Commons. Uh, for uh, Canvas. Just something to describe it so that when you go back and look at it later on, uh, especially if you make changes to it later, you can update the numbers, the, the years, um, all the different things that you can update. Tags. Now, when you, uh, if you want to make it easier for yourself to uh, find it later in Commons, you can tag it with something like, let's see, World History AP, something like that. You have to press Enter after each tag. Um, you can also put in your name as a tag. So when I go into Commons later or next year when I need to, when I need to pull that out, um, all I have to do is go into Commons and type my name and because I'm the only one that can see it, it's going to pop up for me. Um, now the only other thing is that you have to give it an image. It is a required field. So if I click on, uh, click on change image, um, I get a bunch of different ones from Flickr here, just different images or up at the very top it says I can browse my computer um, for an image to put in there. Um, just for sake of simplicity right now, I'm going to go ahead and pick this road and tree image here. And then uh, there's a little slider down here that asks me what grade levels this is for. So really my world history class could be, um, let's see, put that little thing over there. It could be, it's going to be till 12th grade. Let's say it's just, uh, it's 9 to 12, it's high school level. Um, so once I've got that, I've got it checked off as only me. I've got a title for it uh, with my name, the course title, um, the school that I'm at, and the grade level. I've got a small description and some tags, and I change the image. Once I'm done with that, all I have to do is click on the blue share button down there at the bottom, 
and that's it. It's put up into Commons for me. Now it's saved for next year. What you need to remember is after these courses conclude they, this year um, in uh, May of 2019, they will conclude on June 15th. After that, you won't be able to save it to Commons, so you need to do this before June 15th. Um, the kids' courses will conclude the last day of school on the 29th. They won't be able to access um, any of your courses that you have uh, that they're enrolled in. You have until the 15th to share to Commons. Um, it's very important that you do that. So now, when I go to Commons next year, let's say I've got my new uh, course titles here. Um, it's the beginning of the whole year. I will uh, go ahead and click on Commons. Commons comes up. What I'll do is I'll go up to that search box up at the top. Uh, click in that search box and start typing my name because that's one of the tags that I gave for my course that I imported into Commons. Once I do that and hit enter, there you go. The very first one that pops up is that world history class that I just placed there. And if I go ahead and click on that, I can go ahead and check on it make sure that uh, all the settings are right. If I go to details, it does show me that it is private, shared only with me. Uh, my tags are World History AP and Seth Kaler. It is for 9, 10, 11, 12 grade. Um, if I go back to preview, the preview will come up. Uh, sometimes it takes just a second to pop open. But once the preview is open, you can preview all of your assignments, the pages, the files, everything that you have in that course. Um, and then if there was any version notes, if you changed anything, you can check those as well. Then when I'm ready to import it into my brand new course that I get at the beginning of next year, all I have to do is click on this blue import download button over here and pop it into my new course and I'm ready to go. Next up, in just one second, I'll show you how to import from a course that has concluded. Um, it's a little bit more, it has a few more steps though, so I'll show you that in just two seconds. Thanks. All right, so this quick little section will be about how to import content into a new tile that you get next year uh, from one of your old concluded tiles. Um, the nice part about putting things into commons is that you could pull it down over the summer if you needed to work in it um, or something like that. If it's concluded, you can't do that. So it's always a good thing to put it in commons first, um, but you can still pull content from a a concluded course. So if you go and look at all the courses that you have, next year you'll have all new courses here. If you go down to the very bottom, there's a past enrollments. And that's where all the concluded courses go. They go down past underneath this past enrollments. Those open up as read only. Um, you can't change anything. You can't upload anything. You can't do anything like that with those. But I can still pull all of this information and I'll show you how to do that. So if I go back to my dashboard, and click on my dashboard. So let's pretend it's next year and I have a brand new course. I have my uh, new course tile for a new school year and it's completely empty but I need to pull over all that stuff that I had from last year. So what I would do is I would open up that tile uh, again completely empty because it comes in uh, it's imported from eSchool Plus completely empty but I would go to settings on the course navigation here on the left hand side. Once I'm in the settings, if I jump over here to the right hand side, there is a import course content button or link. And if I click on that, it's going to ask me what kind of content do I want to import. You'll notice that uh, you can import from a zip file, um, from a QTI file, Blackboard, if, if you're pulling, maybe you got something from someone out at AM Corpus Christi and they're using Blackboard, lots of different ways. But what we were going to do to use this for is copy a Canvas course. Um, now, here's the tricky part, and this is why I didn't show this first, um, but you have to know the exact name of the course that you're looking for. So, um, if I click in into uh, this box, I need to start typing exactly what I know that course's title is. And once it comes up, you'll see all those others that kind of popped up when I was started typing. Um, it's going to look through lots and lots of courses at CCISD. But if I um, go ahead and click on exactly what I know, emerging, emerging apps, and I choose emerging apps. Um, what, what do I want to pull from it? Normally, I would pull all content. I want to pull that whole course over. I want to move everything that I had last year and put it in this year's content. But if I wanted to, I could select specific content. Um, 
let's say I do want to do all content. I just want to move everything over. I click on all content and I leave, I adjust events and due dates. Um, I can do that and what it'll do is I just tell it when the class starts and or when a beginning date is and I can change it. Um, I'm going to just leave it blank for right now for uh, simplicity's sake. So I'm going to say all content and I'm going to click on import. Now uh, it hasn't actually imported yet. It starts to run and then it'll run all the way through and that little um, progress bar will show me when it has finished pulling all that content over from a concluded course into my new course. So uh, I have one issue here. What is this issue? There's an external tool for a badger that couldn't be found, but that's okay. That's not that important. Now, when I go back to my dashboard and I look at that brand new course tile, you'll notice I copied this course that was essentially um, concluded, but it copied right over and into my new course. All of my modules are there and everything. So, best bet is to import it into Commons uh, at the end of each year and then download it at the beginning of each year. Um, but if you have to pull from a concluded course, this is how you do it. Thank All right, I hope those uh, how-to videos helped you learn how to save your stuff uh, in Canvas for next year. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, you can contact myself, Seth Kaler, or any of our instructional technology team, uh, the people that are assigned to each of your campuses. You probably know their names. Uh, if not, get with me and I'll let you know who they are, and we'll get in touch with you to save your stuff. Till then, have a great summer. We'll see you later.